To build reliable systems that can tolerate a variety of failures, the system needs to be distributed so that a problem in one location doesn't mean your entire service stops operating. So you need to be able to build a system that can handle, for example, a node dying or perform adequately when experiencing an unexpected load. So to create a reliable system, you need to fully understand it and what happens when the different components that make up the system reach certain thresholds. We have practices like KS Engineering that can confirm your expectations and give you confidence in your system at different levels and proves you can have a certain amount of tolerance levels to reliability. Chaos Engineering allows you to find weaknesses and vulnerabilities in complex systems. It's an important task that can be automated into your CI-CD pipeline. So you can have various Chaos Engineering verifications before you reach production. The practice of Chaos Engineering is often used by site reliability engineering teams to improve resilience and must be used as part of your software development deployment process. Reliability is all about user perception. If the user considers your service as unreliable, then you will lose customer trust as service perception is poor. So it's important to provide consistency with your service as much as you can. It's okay to have some outages. Outages are expected but you can't have them all the time and for long durations. Users expect to have outages at some point in time, but just not for so long. If you're using static thresholds, they can't indicate any issues with user experience. Traditional monitoring falls short when trying to do this, as it usually operates with predefined dashboards looking for something that has happened before. With the traditional metrics-based monitoring, we rely on static thresholds to define optimal system conditions, but this has nothing to do with user experience. Modern systems change shape dynamically under different workloads and workload types. Static thresholds for monitoring can't reflect any of this. They lack context and are too coarse. Brings us to service level objectives, SLO based approach to monitoring that SRE teams are using. Here we have concepts of service level objectives, SLOs, service level indicators, SLIs, and error budgets. These new tools or technologies form the basis for reliable system and are core building blocks of the reliability stack. The most important feature of any system is reliability. And it's not a feature a vendor can sell you. So if a vendor tries to sell you an add-on solution called reliability, don't buy it. Especially if they offer you 100% reliable. Nothing can be 100% all of the time. And if you strive for 100% reliability, you will miss out on key opportunities to perform innovation, experiment, and take risks.